Oh, is this thing on? Oh, we're on! <laughs> What's cracking, everybody? It's Steve here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look, I don't know why, but I'm in a really good mood today. This pass that I'm about to teach you, obviously by the title you know which one, the spread pass, is one of my favorite controls in all of card magic. It's just so natural, it's so clean. Don't hate me for saying this, but it's a little bit better than the classic pass and you'll see why it's just got really good angles and you can have complete control over them if you haven't liked the video yet you probably have no reason to like it because you don't know what i'm going to show you well you don't know what it's going to look like but like it anyway and if you haven't subscribed i'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel i make some really cool videos so make sure you check those all out but before you do let's take a look at the spread pass now one of the things I really love about the spread pass is how natural it looks. It's just the motion of spreading the cards and the card comes back to the top. That's what I really like about it. Um, if you take the classic pass for example, it's just very angle sensitive. It looks okay, but you don't have a lot of control of the angles around you. So with that being said, this is what the spread pass looks like. We take the king of diamonds, that's the exposed view, and it just comes nicely to the top. You can do it as a color change as well. So we take the two of clubs and we spread through and they switch places. Now let's learn how that's done. All right, get your cards ready because this is how you do the spread pass. So what you want to do, firstly to practice, take one card, put it just below halfway. Okay, so you want to put it just below halfway and this is just for practice, okay? And what you do is you spread through and when you get to the selection, you want to use this finger here to capture the card that's just above the seven of clubs. So you've got a whole bunch here and you want to maintain the look of the spread, right? So you spread through until you come to the selection, use the finger to grip the card above the selection. And then you want to have the left hand packet in that position right there, because what's going to happen is when you close the spread, they all go under and this packet gets curled up. So under, curled up, and then over. Now I'm gonna do that again. So take the selection just below halfway and you spread through and you grip the card that's just above the seven of clubs. And this is the motion right here. It comes over when you get to there you use the right hand to curl the cards over so do that again so seven of clubs goes just below halfway and then i've got it face down this time and then you curl the cards under and at the same time you want to spread that over like so now the main thing here so if you take the seven of clubs and do it face up again the main thing here is this motion here. Your right hand needs to be able to cover that block of cards coming underneath then over top. So if I do it with a bit of speed, you'll see that the right hand actually acts as a cover so that it's invisible to the spectators. So I'll do it at speed. This is how I do it full speed. So seven of clubs, bang. Just like that so now let's talk about the angles obviously you can't do the move directly in front of a spectator a little bit obvious so you want to turn to the side with your free hand facing or nearest the spectator and what you want to do is you want to angle the cards down slightly when you're doing the pass you don't want to hold them up flat because you'll see that it flashes down there but if you turn them down towards an angle like a 45 degree angle you'll see that it's invisible so those are your angles not like that except like so and then you execute the pass now just my final tip on the spread pass you've got your angles right i can't express how important the loose right hand is but here's why when you put the card down the bottom and you control it to the top it's that right hand that goes out like so at the same time. So this is what I mean. You've got the seven of clubs down there. It's getting curled underneath the packet. I'll do it this way. 
Now at the same time, you wanna have your loose hand, the right hand, outstretched so that you're covering the pass. Because look what happens if I just keep my fingers like inward. See how you can see underneath it flashes there. And so what you want to do is this right hand is so important. When you get to that point, you use your right hand to make a cover. Boom, and it comes up. So it's super important, use the right hand to cover the pass coming to the top. Now here's a couple of ideas where you can use the spread pass in your ambitious card routine. So here's what I do. Let's say we do a double lift on the seven of diamonds and we put it down the bottom and it jumps back to the top. This is what I do next. I'll say, look, I'll put your card down the bottom, but face up and I'll even show you that it's still there. And then I just do the spread pass and it comes to the top. Now if two spectators cards are in play, what I usually do then is I say, look, we'll put one on the top and let's say that's the other selection there. I'll say, watch, I can even make these cards change places. And so those are a couple of ideas that you can use with the spread pass and your ambitious card routine. Well, there you go, everybody. That is the spread pass. If you already knew how to do it, hopefully you took a couple of tips out from what I've taught. Two main things. Remember, don't forget these things. The hand motion, the right hand covering the pass as it comes over, and also the 45 degree angle that you get on that. <laughs> I will never dab again, I promise. I've never done that before. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you slap a like on it. Subscribe if you're new around here. I will see you next week with more magic and more antics. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.